Check, please. Welcome to Everything Money. In this video, you will learn our thoughts on the cigarette companies, Altria and British Tobacco, BTI. We bring you our comments on their financials, where the world is headed in terms of smoking and its regulations, and how these companies will be affected, especially their stock price. We'll show you our stock analyzer and what you should be paying for these companies moving forward through our Everything Money software. And if you want to trade these companies, Mo will help you in the Bidnast Nation. I bring your questions about these cigarette companies and, this, and smoking in general to a couple guys that own and operate over $100 million in real estate, multiple businesses, and stocks, and they will provide you and I with a mindset and whether we should be buying these companies or avoiding them. I give you Paul and Mo. All right, guys. So first off, follow us on Instagram, Everything Money Investing, and then follow our personal accounts because we just do a lot of personal stuff. It's a lot of fun. So um, we're talking about Altria, Philip Morris, and British Tobacco. We've talked about these companies a lot. Guys, I, I, if what I read recently, what country just said nobody that anybody after born after X date cannot buy tobacco for life? It's banned for life. No Did you guys idea. hear about this? No. Oh yeah, absolutely. Some let me look it up because there is a country that has banned tobacco, banned cigarettes. Country. Um. Well, nice of them. <laughs> New Zealand. New Zealand did. So New Zealand came out and said, "Hey, there is an absolute ban on tobacco. Anyone born after 2008, you're not going to be able to buy any tobacco. Forget about it. Not going to happen." You know, I, I don't know. I want to get the politics of this, but the bottom line is there are a lot of headwinds for tobacco. Um, if you want to buy these companies, buy them super cheap, very low multiples, factor in revenue growth loss. Um, now, the good news is I do think in developing countries like in Africa and Asia, there's still a lot of popularity in tobacco. Um, as companies develop more, as companies become more and more developed, the tobacco usage tends to drop anyhow with education and things like that. I mean, just looking back 30 years ago, how many people, 50, 60 years ago, 50% of the US, or was it, what percentage of the population smoked? And now it's like 50, whatever the percentage is now. Let's look at that. I mean, it's, it's an astronomically lower number. So you've got to remember this is the future. Um, sin stocks, governments like taxing sin stocks. So you look at a pack of cigarettes, and everybody's like, Dan, these tobacco companies charge me $8. Well, no, it's a lot of tax involved. Why? Because it's easy to, everybody's willing to pass a tax on tobacco and alcohol. Why? Because, oh, you shouldn't be doing that anyhow. Here's a tax on it. So there are major headwinds for these companies. I think you've got to fact that in as part of our, you know, stock analyzer tool. Got to fact that in going forward. So let's pull up, um, you know, let's go to eight pillars. Let's pull up Philip Morris. So it's MO, uh, Altria, sorry. Let's just pull that up. Altria is Philip Morris. Um, smokeless tobacco. They're also getting into wine and alcohol to kind of diversify their revenue stream from an eight pillar perspective. So net income has dropped a lot, but I'm willing to bet this is because of a write off. So yeah. this is a $12.76 billion drop in net Wasn't... income. Oh, wow. Look at these. It was 15. Wait, what is? Oh, that's why there was a big year there. Let's see if there's any wasn't, other income expenses. Didn't they have, have something some to do with, up. wasn't Jewel some kind of huge acquisition or write-off or something like that, if I'm remembering correctly? I, I think so. And look at this, Mo. In the last three years, they've had a total of 12, 7, 18 billion dollars in write-offs. Wow. Okay. Maybe yeah. some restructuring. So, I mean, their income statement, the revenue growth has been pretty stagnant for the last 10 years. I mean, look at this revenue growth in the last 10 years. It's like nothing. Yeah. So when let's go to our, so this is the eight pillars tab. Like we said, everything looks like it's cheap. Five year price of free cash flow, five year earnings, five year earnings is low, even with that $18 billion in write off. So let's go to the stock analyzer tool and just input this and make some assumptions here for the next 10 years. Let's go negative two, zero and 2% revenue growth profit margin. Let's do 20, 20, 23, and 26. Free cash flow margin. Let's go 28, 30, and 32. PE. I'm going to go 6, 9, and 12. Because, guys, I I'm going to be really conservative here. I don't know the future of tobacco, and I'm worried about it. So I'm going to go really low on my multiples. Analyze. 
guess what? It's still not, I mean, look at it. It's $46 stock and it needs to drop basically in half. That's not unheard of. It would make the stock very cheap, but I think you got to factor it in there with a company like Altria felt more. You've got to remember that the governments are all trying to fight this. They look at it as terrible things, which smoking is not healthy for you, but I believe in everybody's individual choice to be able to do whatever they want with their body. The same thing that the libs all say, but only when it applies to certain things that make them happy. Thank you, money. Paul. More money. <laughs> so I think, um, I, I just think with these companies, you've got to be very, very conservative and buy them only when it's a screaming, an absolute obvious screaming deal. I don't think that's there yet, um, but it could be. I mean, if you think that the revenue growth numbers could beat 2%, then maybe it's there. But I, I'm just a little apprehensive about that. I think I was selling puts on Altria at $30. I believe was it was. Great. Yep, we were. But I don't have them right now. They, they all expired without being in the money. So um, I, I would start building a position at 30 and go so, so south if I want to do it. But by the way, I might just ignore this one because of the headwinds and all that stuff. I mean, it's not obviously cheap enough. So I, maybe I'll just ignore it. Paul, BTI, a British American tobacco, has an enormous dividend of six and a half. I know the dividend lovers love this company. Tell us about it. All right. So let's go to British tobacco, BTI. All right. So big dividend here. Big, big dividend. It eats up a big chunk of their free cash flow. Five-year average free cash flow of $9.34 billion, Pays out $6.4 billion. So remember that when you're looking at it. Five-year PE of 5.2 super low <laughs> super super man how low did this thing get oh this has been trading in a quite a tight range 33 to 40. but look at this drop just keeps going down and down all right eight pillars tab all right so shares outstanding big jump in shares outstanding uh remember on foreign companies they tend to report annually and not quarterly so go to the annual you have to go up here to our annual numbers 1.86 billion shares to 2.29. It was probably an acquisition of some sort, and that's why it jumped up so much. That's my guess. But we'll, we have to go here to the cash flow statement. We'll go again to an, go to um, annual, and let's go to our acquisition dispositions. Yeah, $23 billion spent here on an acquisition back in 2017. So just keep that in mind going forward. Um, stock analyzer tool. Let's see what this thing could be worth in 10 years. Um, so let's go here again. Let's do negative two, zero and two profit margin. Oh my Lord. It's all over the place. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like nauseous here. <laughs> uh, 40, 42 and 44 free cash flow margin, 27, 29, 31 PE, uh, six, nine and 12, six, nine and 12, 12 and a half percent. Cause guys, again, you can invest in ETF and get nine or 10. So give yourself margin of safety. Analyze button. All right. This one might be selling more of a um, value play here, guys. This might be the play here if you want to do tobacco. Because look at these prices down here between 26 and 40. So low 30s, somewhere in the 40s, and somewhere in the 60 range. All right. Maybe British Tobacco is the one to go with. Do your research on these. If you feel comfortable with these kind of stocks, has a high dividend. Maybe that's probably their way of trying to appeal to investors. Let's pay a high dividend out. And that way people come buy the stock and it bids it up. If you want the software behind Paul and this interests you, looking at the numbers, looking at the fundamentals to make investing decisions, Paul will show you how to get this right now. So guys, we made this software because we got so many requests from our subscribers saying, hey, how do I analyze my own stocks without having to wait for you guys? So we said, okay, let's just invest hundreds of thousands of dollars and do this. So we created our software. It includes everything you saw already. It's all in a mobile app. So it's already ready for your mobile phone, fully ready to go. You've got all the eight pillars, retirement calculator, stock analyzer tool, eight pillar portfolio, exclusive daily content, one to three videos per day from Seth Mo and I, only for the subscribers of our software. Plus you get everything here that's coming soon. This is all coming soon. Get it all here available for you. But most importantly, the biggest thing you get is we have a community of over 6,000 people who use our software every single day. You can talk to them about all your investment ideas because a lot of our users felt alone thinking about investments a certain way. And that's why they gravitated to our channel. 
but now it allows them to go talk about any investment ideas, including crypto with people in the community, bounce ideas off each other, make all the decisions you want. And this is all for only $1 per day. $1 per day gets you all of this. If you can increase your returns by one or 2% a year or decrease your losses by one or 2% a year, it will lead to hundreds of thousands, if not actually millions of dollars in extra net worth for you for only $1 per day. So two ways to sign up, everythingmoney.com or Patreon. The benefit of everythingmoney.com is we aren't big enough yet to charge a sales tax. So you'll save on the sales tax for quite a while. So again, guys, $1 per day, sign up, everythingmoney.com. And if you're looking to trade either of these cigarette companies, you can join Mo in the Binance Nation and he will show you how to use the charts and trends right now. Take after, go, go for it, Mo. Get after it, baby. So guys, here, let's pull up the long-term chart on this. It's actually looking like a pretty decent short coming into the mix right now. Um, because it had this little consolidation channel in this 45 and below 45 to 43 range. So if you can get some engulfing candlesticks and follow this trend down, I think you can get a nice little short on this. But with that being said, if you want to wait, let the let the trend finish to the downside and come back up. You also have a very small gap that just happened here a couple of days ago, uh, which when, when they paid out their dividend. So that might be the play here. Uh, wait for it to wait for it to bottom out and come back up. Now, with that being said, again, we're seeing a lot of stocks right now that are around their 100 and 200 day moving averages, and that's where uh, Altria Group is right now, decelerating volume as we've as we're used to seeing. But these moving averages, so be careful when you're trading these. Take profits going into moving averages, um, and make sure when you're buying positions, you are over and clear of these moving averages. Now, let's look at. Uh, BTI just as a comparison. Wow, it almost looks like the exact same chart. Wow, look at that. Let me pull up MO again and watch the change. And you don't really see much of a change. So wow. either one seems like it's fine to me. You had that gap that happened a few days ago on their dividend. Um, I would say the same thing. Wait till this moves into the sweet spot coming down. If you want it to bottom out and run it back up, you can do so. And again, be careful of these two major moving averages right here. From a day trading perspective, guys, this is not something that I would want to be in just because you don't get the you don't get the daily movement. I mean, you get movement here and there, but on a day to day basis, here's two days where you just have absolutely no movement. Yet uh, last week nothing, today you're having nothing. So I would just implore you to go find more stocks that have a higher beta, like to move more of it on a daily basis, just so you have more opportunities to day trade and make money. So if you want to learn these rules about anything that I just said. Come and join me in the Bid and Ask Nation. You'll get access to my Trading 101 series, which is all the rules that you need to be successful. The Employed Trader series, which is six stocks. I go through every single day, update you on, do the legwork for you. My exclusive Saturday seminars. I do one seminar a month just for the Bid and Ask Nation. Open Q&A session to work out whatever questions that you have. And a, a chat community of 950 plus people that all have the same goals and uh, great knowledge in the chat. So come and join us. And uh, let me interrupt real quick. I just got a text from our mutual friend, Seth and I's mutual friend, the doctor. He made two trades today, just exited both because he has stuff to do. He made 0.67% on one trade and lost 0.15 in another. And he said nothing exciting. And he made a half percent overall in the two trades in one day. And he literally said that's not exciting because last week he made two point some percent on, on one trade. I mean, so I look at it going, this plan works. He just texted me, I'm very happy. Just didn't want you to think all my trades are 2% plus winners. <laughs> we, we will keep you updated on these, uh, on these tobacco companies. Um, the, some of the people in our community, Paul, really love these, but they, they definitely have a rough road ahead in terms of regulations and sentiment. So that's our take. Join the community. You will love the discussions in our community, and you will love the software. See you next video. <laughs>